Hey guys, I just wanted to make a video sort of updating everyone and talking about my port removal procedure that's coming up on Monday that I'm kind of nervous about. And so yeah, um, I have my procedure coming up on Monday and they just called me today to like tell me what time and all of my eating rules and everything and I'm I don't know I'm like so nervous um it just I feel like almost like emotionally dependent or not emotionally dependent but it's just like my port's been with me throughout the whole experience and it's been like a savior and sometimes like I don't know I mean it seems so weird um other people who have a port might understand like it's so horrible <laughs> to get poked so many times. Um, I was talking about in my blog the other day how I had like a horrible experience and it's probably the same for a lot of other people when you're in the hospital for the first time getting diagnosed and everything and they're drawing your labs every few hours and they have to come in and give you a new poke, a new needle, a new IV every time and it just like beats up your arm so bad and um for some reason every time I get an IV like no matter what when they pull it out my skin like the vein bursts or whatever happens and the bruise is there for like weeks and so um I don't know having a port you just like avoid all of that and it just makes it so much better and I don't know, I have like a weird attachment to it. I Like, let me know if you, other people who have ports, who have like been going through chemo and everything, feel the same way because I don't like have to get it out right now. It was sort of recommended to me by my doctor just because it's like a source of infection and everything. Um, but I've never had an infection through it myself. Um, and I mean, I still have to get infusions once a month. But I've been getting them through the back of my hand for the last few months just to like get used to it and make sure that I can do it and that it's worth getting my port out. But it just almost seems like like if I get it out, then my cancer is going to come back just just to spite me. Like, like so I'll have to go get it put back in again. And I know that just sounds silly, but it's like still a fear that I have, just a silly fear. Um... And so I'm going to do it anyway, but I don't know, it just seems like I'm moving on or something. And even though it sounds weird, like I got comfortable like in my life that I was having, you know, after you live that way for a certain amount of time, like that's your life. And so you get used to it. And it's so it's just like a sign of that ending, even though it's like a good ending. It's just like a big thing. And I don't know. I mean, it's like a part of me, my little scar. Um, so yeah, it'd be really cool if someone wanted to comment and make me feel better and less like a loser if you have any attachment feelings to your port or whatever. Maybe some of you hate your ports because they get infected and it's annoying. <laughs> I don't know. I, um, I actually get treated at a children's hospital, so we get numbing cream for um, all of our pokes and whatever, but I stopped using it a while ago, so my port also makes me feel like pretty cool because I can take like a stab and everything. <laughs> um, I don't know, it's just like such a big step in the right direction, but it has some like insecurities going along with it, so... I guess I'll let you all know how it goes after Monday. Um, I hope, like, people have been telling me that the recovery for the port procedure is a lot shorter and this procedure is, like, a lot less intense than when you get it put in. So I'm looking forward to that because I... It was, like, a real shock to my system when I got mine put in. And I guess that's because it was the first of, like, all my procedure-y, chemo-y, like, um yucky experiences um but I didn't expect it to be as yucky as it was um 
So yeah, I hope everyone's having a wonderful day and I hope that you enjoyed this video and that maybe you can relate to it. And if you are having a crappy day because you had chemo today or had chemo in the last few days or you're just feeling down today, which I can totally understand, then I hope that you can find something to take your mind off of it, either... <laughs> If nothing else, your pain medicine, a book. I used to have my mom read to me when I couldn't stand to look at the TV. Or, you know, if you can, a good movie. Go on a walk. I know it's hard. Or just go outside and get some fresh air. Um, but I hope you start feeling better soon. And if there's anything that you think I could do for you, then feel free to let me know and I'll do my best. Um, but yeah, I hope... Um, everyone has good things coming to them in the future and that the rest of your evening is as awesome as you can make it out to be. <laughs>